Hello! Hi everybody! Happy Tuesday! How are you all doing? What's up? All right, where am I going? What am I doing? All right, I just got in, literally like walked in the house five minutes ago, maybe 10 minutes ago. But hello, Bethany from Count Your Stitches here. What is up? What is up? Make sure you're saying, hey, when you hop on, hello, how are we doing? Happy Tuesday. Let's get this out there for the world to see. We're creating another red, white, and blue craft tonight. We've got two more left in the season. We've got one tonight, one Friday night. Super stoked. Hello, hello. Say hey when you are hopping on. Again, hi, my name is Bethany from Count Your Stitches. We are doing our live craft. Um, we're going to do two this week, tonight and Friday. Friday will be at eight. Um, and we're going to do something really cool with this stuff happening here tonight. All right, so when you hop on, say hello. Uh, drop some thumbs up and some hearts and make sure that you um, spread the love by getting this out on your page as well. Getting this video out on your page as well. Really appreciate the support. Thank you. All right, so let's get into it, shall we? So you can kind of see this is what we're going to make, but we're going to paint it all, okay? So let's get right into it. Um, we're going to go... Thank you, Mom. Hi, Mom. Um, the shirt I got with you this weekend, right? The faith, love, and hope. Although I'm used to it saying faith, hope, and love, but that's okay. Um, and these I got from a friend at work who sells Color Street. And when I ordered some, um, red, white, and blue nails, she made these and gave them with it, which I thought was really, really cute. So everybody, we have made the switch, sort of, kind of, to chalk paint. Not entirely, we still have a ton of acrylic paint happening over here, um, but tonight we are gonna use some chalk paint. I did some testing out with it. Um, recently I bought some like little ones, um, some tiny ones, the Waverly chalk paint from uh, Walmart. And um, I loved, loved, loved the way it came out. So I went and invested in some chalk paint Mom and I went, hi, Julia. Mom and I went um, over the weekend and got some. You know what? I should probably do some, like, measuring of some sort here. Um, so Mom and I went to Wally Mart over the weekend, um, and we got some chalk paint. You know. All right. Gotta find where this is 12. All right, beautiful. Let's measure this out, get a little mark going. Okay, perfect. There we go, now we can get going. Hi, Julia, how's everybody doing tonight? Happy Tuesday, thanks for working with me with the different nights. It's, we're trying to just fit everything in, you know what I mean? Mom and I um, did our Mommy and Me weekend this weekend. We went away Sunday into Monday. Bob loved it because he had a nice quiet house. <laughs> um, so I'm just taping off, guys, because what we're going to do is do this blue and then um, red and white stripes down here, okay? Um, make sure when you're hopping on that you say hello and that you um, spread this out on your page as well, all right? And then drop some thumbs up and some hearts too, okay? Um, so we're going to do blue on the top and red and white on the bottom. We're gonna see how this goes. So, like I said, we're gonna use some chalk paint tonight. Um, I tried it over the weekend on a couple of projects, fell in love. I'm also using some new paint brushes tonight, which I'm really pumped about. Um, I'm not, do I really, do I like this blue or do I wanna mix it to make a darker blue? I don't know. I don't know, uh-oh. Please hold, I didn't realize these had things on them. So yeah, so mom and I did, um, our, our Mommy and Me weekend this weekend went away. I got this shirt. It says Faith, Love, and Hope. I love it. And it's like red, white, and blue themed, so, which is my favorite. Um, well, it was funny because, so we went to like, Mom, how many did we go to? Um, hi, Elaine. Um, thanks for hopping on, Elaine. Um, hope y'all are having a great night. Hope y'all having a great start to your week. Say hey when you're hopping on. Um, whew, that was difficult to get off. Wowzers. Um, so we hit like what, four or five Marshalls or TJ Maxx's, right mom? We had a grand old time. 
And my goal, now tell me if anybody else can relate to this. So um, my, I don't, I didn't have any like work. Uh, hi, TJ. Is it TJ or Amber? <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Um, hi, TJ and Amber, if it's both of you. Um, but yeah, so we went to like four different Marshalls and Targets because I didn't have any summer work clothes, um, which I know really sounds strange, but the schools that I've always worked for, I did like summer camps and stuff um, in the summer, or it was like super casual in the summer. Uh, both. Oh, hi, Amber. Hi, TJ. Amber, how's work going? Um, so, all right, we got some, what is this? This is Ocean. Let's see how it comes out. I'm not going to use our new paintbrush. I'm just going to use my small, Mrs. T's brush. We're going to use Mrs. T's brush. Um, so, because, yeah, so my old positions, I either did summer camps when I was a teacher or my previous position um, was kind of cash in the, in the summer. So I never had to wear anything fancy, but my new, my well, not my new, but... Now that I'm at my new position, which I've been there for a while now, but um, you know, COVID summer was different. I now have to like wear nicer stuff. Oh, this just looks so, look at this full coverage. I'm not even gonna need a second coat. I'm telling you, love this chalk paint. It's not cheap, but it has a great, it's great. Um, oh, Amber, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm super excited for you. You go girl. Um, so yeah, so I was like, I need to get some, summer work clothes so i ended up getting like a bunch of t-shirts which are not summer work clothes but that's okay because they're only like 10 bucks um but i got a couple of really cute things i wore one of them today it was a little out of my comfort zone um because and again tell me if anybody can relate so i have broad shoulders um i don't know if you all can tell <laughs> and um when i so i try not to wear shirts that have like a an angle cut here because i feel like it just makes me like go into linebacker mode um, but there was this super cute shirt that I got and it was yellow with a pattern. I was going to wear it on tonight, but I wanted to stick with wearing the red, white, and blue. Um, and so I, but I liked it and it was flowy and baggy and I like baggy. Um, and I tried it and I wore it today and I did feel a little out of my comfort zone, but I liked it and it worked and I was very excited for, and happy for myself that I did a little something different. You know what I'm saying? You ever do that? Like... You really like something and you have this like idea in your head that you can't wear something, right? And it, it either it's yourself telling you that you can't wear it or society telling you you can't wear it or whatever it is. Um, but then you're just like one day you're like, I'm just going to wear it, right? Wear it and rock it. Um, and that's that's what you got to do, y'all. This is what you got to do. I um, That happens to me sometimes. Like I'll put on an outfit in the morning. And um, I think to myself, like, this outfit looks great. And then I go to the bathroom in the morning at work when I get there. And I'm like, this outfit looks horrible. I don't know why I thought I should wear this. But you're wearing it. And you're stuck there. Hi, Bob. You're stuck there. And you're wearing it. So you know what you got to do? You just got to rock it. And just be like, I look awesome. And I'm going to just wear this outfit. And your confidence is just going to overrule any like ridiculousness sometimes that you're wearing. <laughs> I don't know, right? I mean, sometimes like the ridiculousness is real and you can't get away from it. But I think that so much of what people see or like think about you, it comes from how you present yourself. I don't know where I got onto this soapbox. I'm sorry guys, but I'm having a moment here apparently. Um, but I just feel like if you don't feel confident in how you look and what you're wearing, that's going to come through in how you're presenting yourself. So just rock it, be you, you do you, and people are going to be like, that person's awesome. You know, that's how you do it. Okay, can we just talk about the full coverage on this? Look at how beautiful that is. We didn't even need to do a second coat, my friends. Okay, so now I'm going to rip that off. Oh, it didn't even bleed. Man, guys, I should have gotten chalk paint a long time ago. This is fantastic. Now, hopefully it doesn't rip up when I put this tape on it. We'll have to see what happens. So I'm going to paint this white. And then we'll put some red stripes on it. Okay. So I'm going to rip this. I mean, rinse this. I got pl I have plenty of paintbrushes tonight. Plenty of... Um... <laughs> TJ, you are funny. You are very funny. Oh, so yeah, so I got a couple of things. 
Um, I got a couple other things though that I tried them on when I got home. I mean, I tried them on in the store and I was like, these are great. And then I got them home and I tried them on and I was telling my mom and I'm like, why did I get this? Like it doesn't fit or it doesn't look right or I don't know. I mean, there are, there are, you can rock it, but sometimes things just aren't you, you know? And so like there was a dress that I got that just wasn't me. I thought it was me, wanted it to be me, but it just wasn't me. Um... We're not going to use this because the blue is not coming off and I don't want that in my white. So we're going to use a different paintbrush. Um, so this is just a tiny white because that's what I started with just to, over the weekend just to see if I... Oh, that's a new... Why is that like that? Oh, okay. Um, just to try things. Oh, wait till you see some of the... Well, you some of this cute stuff I already posted. But I got this really cute chair, like little mini chair. Rocking chair from a thrift shop that I redid over the weekend. Oh my gosh. Who knew, a th who knew that could be so darn cute? Wow, this, um, hold on. This paintbrush has like no give to it. All right. So how is everybody tonight? What are we all up to? What's ha How's our Tuesday treating us? What's new in the world of Count Your Stitches family? What's going on? Talk to me, people. Too much paint. Too much paint. Hi, Kama. How are you? Thanks for hopping on. We're making a um, little USA hanger. I just, I put too much. Hey, Kama. So I know you and I have talked paints. I think, right? We've had, we talked paints before. I know I can't remember who was, um, but we switched to chalk paint. Not entirely. We're still going to use our acrylics, but for nice, for big stuff, I got some chalk paint. I'm very excited about it. It's working so beautifully so far yeah so i got this like tiny little ch rocking chair like tiny little rocking chair redid that with some chalk paint and some um and some uh gosh scrapbook paper and some rope came out wicked cute i didn't want to do this edges but it happened so it's just gonna have to happen here because one of them it had i got it on it by accident so it's just gonna have to happen now no, I don't, sometimes I like to keep a nice clean edge because the edges on these circles are actually really nice, but now we have to paint it, which means I'm going to have to paint the back later because inevitably I always get the back when I do the edges. So what's going on? What are we up to on Tuesday night? How was Tuesday? How's summer going? Anybody have any big plans for the 4th? I know we can talk about that on Friday also because we're going live on Friday too. It's a two for live week because we still have another red, white, and blue craft to do because I love red, white, and blue crafts. So we're going to do as many as possible because that's my thing. Um, and then after that, we're going to go into just like summer stuff, um, which I'm excited about. I'm just going to dry my white and then put some red stripes on it. We're going to do summer stuff. Like we're going to do um, lemony things and um beachy things and we'll do that for a little while but then y'all come mid-august we're going fall we are going fall we have to people love fall i love fall um i do not like summer it is too hot we have air conditioning on right now and i'm still sweating i'm also using a heat gun so i mean i don't think that helps um but Regardless, I do not like summer. I do not like heat. So the sooner I can get into fall pumpkin mode, I'm a happy girl. All right, let's see if this rips up my... Oh, it didn't rip it up. That's amazing. We bled a little here, but that's okay. I think it's mostly just because I didn't put it down all the way. All right, so I'm going to use this as my marker because it's not really worth... I want that to be red, right? Actually, I want that here. <laughs> my goodness, guys. Moment having a moment okay so what i'm going to do is this is going to be this the width of my stripe so i'm just going to use that as a marker and then and i think you all seen me do this before and then we just let me put the next one on okay and then you move you lift up the marker and you move it to the next one and we're just going to do some quick red stripes with some more chalk paint so what i did with the chalk paint is because I didn't want to, because again, chalk paint is more expensive than acrylic. 
not terribly, but it is more. Um, and I, I, you know, I was making a switch. So to invest, what I did was, um, I got white and black in big bottles because that's what I use the most of. Um, and then I got my primary colors. And my friend Janine should, hopefully she would be proud that I remember my primary colors. Um, and I got red, so my primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And you can use those three colors to mix and make any other color with the white and black, any color, any shade that you want. So that's how I started. And I figure for smaller things, we can definitely still use the acrylic paint. It's just, I see such a difference with using the, um, the chalk paint, even just right now in painting these stripes and using the, um, using the painter's tape. I can't, first of all, we're doing like one coat coverage here, which doesn't always work that way, but in this case it is. Um, and it's just, um, just a nice finish. It's just a nice finish. Don't get me wrong, acrylic's awesome too, and it comes in so many gorge colors. This is difficult, my friends, to get off. Holy guacamole. Whew. Come on, come on. Oh, so let me tell you a little bit about our weekend, mom and I. So like I was saying earlier, mom and I did our mom and me weekend, mommy and me weekend this weekend. Um, and normally we go like wicked away, uh, but we only went like partially away. We went within, within state. Um, but we still did a night away. And um, I took out a paper plate and I don't eat it. Um, so we went like partially away and we did lots of shopping, we went down the beach and um, we actually didn't go to the beach, but we went down the beach. Um, which coincidentally in Rhode Island, going down the beach doesn't mean you actually go to the beach. It just means you go down to, in the area of the beach. Drop some beachy things, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm just gonna paint some red stripes. Oh yes, paint some red stripes. Whoops, dropped that in too much. Um, so we stayed at the same hotel that we stayed at when uh, we got married. And like the wedding weekend, you know what I'm saying? And um, which was a lovely hotel. We very much enjoyed our stay. Um, so, but you know, post COVID and you know, still kind of part of COVID things changed, you know what I mean? And, um, and tell me if you've experienced this, um, if you've stayed anywhere since COVID. Um, so we check in and we checked in like an hour after check-in started. So it wasn't like it was late or anything. And they said, oh, by the way, the pool is by appointment only. And we were like, oh, because they're like, yeah, we're only allowing one family into the pool at a time. And we're like, okay, so how early and how much in advance do you recommend we... My paint didn't go all the way to the edge and I didn't notice. Um, how much in advance do you recommend we book the pool? Now, mind you, it's like four o'clock and check-in started at three. So he said, well, you should probably book it now because it's pretty much full. And we're like, what? Because that was kind of like our plan for the afternoon was to get to the hotel and, um, you know, spend the afternoon in the pool. And then, because we grabbed a late lunch and then we're going to like, you know, maybe do a little more shopping and grab some ice cream after. So we're, you know, so he, he's like, yeah, we, we're pretty much full with the pool. So he's like, we have nine to 10. And mom and I are like, we're like ready for bed, nine to 10. <laughs> um, so we ended up, he said, I can ask one of the families that's at the other time to see if they'll let you swim at the same time. So it ended up that one of the families did. So we were able to swim from five to six. Um, but or 5.30 or 6.30, whatever it was. But it just, like, we couldn't believe it. Like, we had just gotten there, and there were, like, no reservations to swim in the pool. And we're like, how can you have a full hotel, and you only allow one family at a time, and you only have so many hours in a day? We're like, that just doesn't make any sense. So that was a little disappointing. But, again, we still did get... Oh, awesome, Krista. It's great to see you. Glad you're able to pop on quick. And yeah, comment tomorrow. Let me know what's going on. All right, Krista. Thanks so much for hopping on. Um, I saw my thing, my internet just um, blip, like skip. Am I doing okay? Can everybody see and hear me? Am I skipping? Drop some comments. Let me know. Okay. Um, oh, gorgeous. This is great. I'm so excited right now. Um, but yeah, so we were a little bit bummed about like that whole situation, but I mean, it, it ended up working out okay for us, but it was just a little weird. 
Um, so then they were telling us that their breakfast was gonna be, um, okay, thanks, Kama. Thanks, Mom. Um, so then they were telling us that the breakfast is a little bit limited because this is the kind of hotel that has a nice breakfast in the morning for you. And so we were like, okay, so like, we'll see. We'll see what happens, right? All right, we got a little bit of a, a bleed here because of me, not, this is totally my fault. Okay, thank you, Julia. Thanks everybody for letting me know. Make sure if you're just hopping on, because I see some new friends hopping on, um, make sure that you're saying hello when you hop on, make sure you're dropping some thumbs up and some hearts. And if you're loving this, please spread this out on your page. Um, my computer just said that the live feed was interrupted. Did it work for you guys? Is it just my internet that's not streaming me? Let me know. Um, so yeah, so they're telling us that the breakfast is gonna be limited. Totally fine and totally understood. Um, oh, sugar mug, I needed another red stripe down here. That's okay. Um, and so we get down to breakfast, I don't know, like an hour before breakfast ends. They were out of like everything. <laughs> we're like, this is just not going our way. <laughs> um, but we ended up going out to breakfast at a place that we super love. So, I mean, I think it worked out okay. Um, I'm just fixing a, a blip we had here. Um, wait till you see the coverage on this, guys. It's so nice. I can't get over this. I wish I had started. I wish I had just invested in chalk paint to begin with. You know what I'm saying? Hey, live and learn, right? I'm new with this whole, new with this whole thing. Although, guys, it's been almost a year since I like kind of changed the name and ramped it all up. So here's what we have so far. All right, cool, huh? It's cute. I might. What do you think? Should we go antique with this? Should I get my antique wax out and and do an antique look on this? Or I don't know. What do you? What do you? Actually, we're gonna do this blue again in a second. What do you guys think? Should we go antique with this? Is this too bright? Do we want, I don't know. Do we want Rustic USA or Bright USA? Drop some comments, let me know. Because I can't decide. So I'm setting that aside so that, and I'm gonna put, this is my trash. Now That's now my trash. I'm going to paint my USA letters blue because they're gonna go on the red and white. And then the stars will be white, obviously. Um, okay, let's get another brush here. Okay, so I'm gonna paint these blue. Rustic, I know guys, right? Rustic is like always our thing, you know? I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's get these painted really quick, just with some blue. I'm only gonna do one coat. Um, because we're going to put the rust, we're going to put the antique wax on. But yeah, so it's been almost a year or it hasn't been a year. I can't, I have to, I'm going to have to look um, to see how, when exactly I announced our name change. I want to say it was the beginning of July, the first time I ever went live. Um, so can you believe that? Like since we, I mean, we started, we, we only had like 200 followers. Now we're over 400. Um and, grow and growing and I'd love if you guys could spread the word about Count Your Stitches and share it with everybody else. Um, and we have, oh, it's just, this has just been such a wild ride. I've been loving doing crafts because before I just did um, crocheting and now we've expanded. I have to tell you, as much as I love crocheting, this craft thing has truly like been such a favorite thing of mine. Um, it's a great stress reliever, although sometimes it causes me stress because I just can't get it right. Um, but it's been a learning process. I've so enjoyed it. I'll have to do like a one year recap like of Count Your Stitches. You know what I mean? Like starting this kind of craft. I'll do a, maybe I'll do a little like, con not confessional video, but you know what I mean? Like a confessional video. I'll have to do one. Hi, Auntie Diane. How are you? All right, just drying up my surface, drying up my USA letters. Usa, there we go. Drop the brush in. Let's paint some stars. So I get these, oh, so let me tell you, these USA letters, I got them from the wood pile at Hobby Lobby. Um, they're a buck 29 each, you get two in each package. So I have enough to make two um, crafts with the USAs. It comes with so 
two U's, two U's, S's, and two A's. Really cool to use. And then I got a pack of stars that are a variety of, of sizes and thicknesses. Some are really thick and some are thinner um, and different sizes from Joann's, I believe. Yes. You can also get a big pack of stars. I think I got those from Walmart. Um, so a couple of different places that you can find stars. Um, so yeah, so that's where I'm, and I'm saving some of the stars that I have for Christmas stuff. Just get my weight out again. And then after this, we're going to throw some, um, some antique wax on everything. I also found when I used antique wax over the weekend over the chalk paint, I found that I liked the effect of it better than when I used it on the acrylic paint, which I think is interesting. So we're just going to get these painted up. Oh, so what's everybody been up to this evening? How's Monday? Or two, oh gosh, how's Tuesday? I can't believe it's already Tuesday. Um, I can't believe it's already the 4th of July. So I don't know about other states, but in Rhode Island, um, school started two weeks late this year. So it didn't start till like mid-September, which is re it is less late for us around here. Um, which means that it got out two weeks late. So schools only just got out last week, which is super late. And so I just feel like, you know, school just ended and it's already the 4th of July. It's like really throwing off my whole mojo. Because usually there's a little bit of time before. Because I, I don't know, drop some comments. Let me know how you feel about this. But my opinion is once the 4th of July comes, I feel like the whole summer just flies and you always kind of had that like two weeks of grace period of the beginning of summer before the 4th of July happened and I always used to love those two weeks and this summer we don't have them <laughs> I feel like school ended and I still work all summer but school ended and 4th of July is already here and I'm like what happened here I'm very confused very confused um I'm not painting the sides of these guys either just because I like it um I like the, these sides just the way they are. Um, all right, so it's painting up this last star. But yeah, so I just, I'm, I love the 4th of July. You know this, right? You know I love the 4th of July, but I just feel like it just happened. <laughs> Anybody else feel that way? With I don't, I don't know how other states did school. So like I know a lot of Massachusetts got out the normal time. So I, it might just be a Rhode Island thing that we're weird. We're weird with a lot of things, right? I have, here's a fun one. If you're from Rhode Island, drop um, drop some of your favorite only Rhode Island things. Um, or like only in RI. Like you gotta pack a lunch if you're going more than 20 minutes, right? <laughs> I love that one. Julia, I'm already seeing back to school commercials and about, you're kidding, Julia. We just got out. Now, Julia, forgive me for just not remembering, but are you from around here or did school, are you from somewhere else and school was like normal this year? But still, are you kidding? That's ridiculous. Too soon. Let the kids have summer. Let the adults have summer. All right. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. We're going to antique wax this and then we're going to put a varnish on. We're going to varnish things tonight, guys. Okay. We got our wax. You know I love this. My Waverly Antique Wax. They also sell that in clear. Um, if you ever want it for that as well. You can use that as a top coat. Um, I got the Waverly Varnish as a top coat too. So, all right, here we go. Just going to throw some wax on. And then wipe some wax off. Right? We wax on, we wax off. All right, you, done. I'm gonna breeze through this. Massachusetts, we started late too, but the state agreed. Oh, Julia, that's a nice deal. I wish we had done that. That's a real nice deal. Well, you know, and I'm glad for the teachers and the kids because I have to tell you, um, it. I know they struggled, I think, being in so late. And I mean, we're super blessed. We have air conditioning in our business, in our business, in our building. Um, so that was very, very helpful um, in terms of dealing with the heat. But, you know, for those older schools that don't have air conditioning and those kids were in, you know, during these heat waves, oh my gosh, with the masks, um, 
Oh, I felt awful. Awful, awful. I just, yeah. But you know what? That was last year. It is now done. It's going to be a new year this coming year, and it's going to be great. All right, my USA is antiqued. Let's antique these stars, and then we'll throw some antique on the big piece. Oh, I forgot to get... Um, I forgot to get the rope to glue on this on the at the end. Yeah, I just feel like the antique woohoo wax works really well on the chalk paint. I don't know why, but it just does. It wipes off nicely. See how nice that looks? Love it. So let's just do all these little or big. This is the big star. I also find that um, I was putting on like a really thin layer of wax, the like antique wax before, which you know I'm trying to preserve it and not waste it. But at the same time, um, I can tell you, it works a little better if you put a little bit of a thicker coat. Just, just an FYI to people. Hi, April. How are you? Oh, all right. So we're just antiquing some star. I love that I call it antiquing, like it's a, like it's a verb. See, look how nice that came out. Whew. All right. Let's keep it going. But yeah. So I find that if you put a bigger, a uh, thicker coat of the, the wax on, that it comes out a little better a little bit better all right so I don't want to talk about for the jelly weekend yet because we're gonna be able to do that on Friday right Friday we're gonna go live again I have one more fourth of July craft that I would like to do um, we're gonna I have a wooden four that will do something cute out of I haven't figured it out yet um, which I have to tell you, like, I didn't figure out this craft until last night and I set it up. Um, I set up my craft, everything last night for tonight because today I left work and then I went to one of my girlfriend's houses for dinner. Oh, and I have to tell you about what we had for dinner because it was so delicious. Trying to stay cool. Oh, April, ain't that the truth? It is. I can't believe that it's this hot and I haven't talked about the weather yet. I talk about the weather every week and I haven't talked about this heat wave we're having Dear Lord in heaven, we need some we need some faith, love, and hope right now, like my shirt says, to get us through this heat wave. Um, I heard that Boston was like 99 today, and that it tied a record for the hottest hottest temperature on this day since like 1930 or with 1933 or something crazy. Um, I was like, holy guacamole! When I left work, it said it was 97, um, which is quite warm quite warm um oh but yeah so i set this craft up last night because i went to my girlfriend's house for dinner right after work and then i literally got back five minutes before this started um so i had everything set up april oh my god 90 right now <sighs> no thank you no bueno no thank you no nothing all right let us antique wax this we're going to need a bigger, oh, I did not just do that. I just stuck this brush all the way in the, all the way in the antique wax, thinking that it was the water. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, so I want to tell you what we had for dinner. My, one of my girlfriends is an amazing cook. Um, and she always has me for dinner and she's wonderful. Um, so I'm just going to antique wax this whole thing. Okay. We're going to antique this, right? It's our verb. We're going to need a, we're going to need a bigger paper towel. Um, so. And I always eat food at her house that I don't normally eat because for some reason when she makes it, it's delicious. Um, so we had salmon, which she literally just like puts on a pan and puts in the oven and it becomes delicious. Like I don't even know if she does anything to it. It's just amazing. Um, I'm using this new massive brush that I got at Walmart, which I am in love with. Um, and so we had the salmon and then she made a salad out of um, some, some lettuces, a bunch of different lettuces. I only remember one of them though. So the one that I remember um, was arugula. However, it was not baby arugula. So I'm calling it adult arugula um, because it was literally like massive arugula um, that you know how baby arugula is like super peppery? Drop some comments if you like arugula. I love arugula. But it's super peppery usually. But this, the peppery flavor was different. Um, 
and it was very good. It was like a deep pepper flavor as opposed to like a, like a picante, like spicy. Look at me trying to speak Spanish. Um, and so we had the adult arugula, as I like to now call it, uh, mixed with some other greens. And it, she put watermelon and feta and Kalamata olives um, with this like, I forget what kind of vinaigrette it was, but it was good. I wolfed it down. I was also starving, um, but I wolfed it down. It was so good. Arugula, yes, big fan. Yes, April. Arugula tastes like soap to me. Isn't that funny, Julia? Oh my gosh. I feel, yeah, we all have our things, right? Speaking of soap, drop some comments if you ever got soap in your mouth for saying something um, bad when you were a kid as a punishment, right? I remember that. Mom, I'm not trying to throw you in your bus. I think it was good. Um, it definitely worked. It was, <laughs> but just drop some comments if anybody remembers that happening to them. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we had the best delicious dinner. And then she got us um, some little pieces of tiramisu to, for dessert. I eat so well when I go to one of my girls. I, I eat so well when I go to her house. Um, and I, I don't think I'd ever had tiramisu before. So I was in love. This this came out real, real antiqued, real antiqued. But I love it. How nice does that look? I'm a fan, a fan, a fan. Soap in the mouth makes me think of a Christmas story. That's the first thing I thought of too when I said it, Julia. That's really funny. Cam, yeah, definitely, Cam. I feel the same way. Like love, perfect. I think it was perfect. Like it was totally useful. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Uh, no soap, but love, yeah, right? <laughs> oh. No, my, my parents were very good, like, high standards, like, got in trouble maybe once, like, had, had a little, had a little bit of appropriate action taken because of it, and then we were good, like, I would never misbehaved again. They were, they were good. My parents were really good. It was, it was soap. Poisoning! Oh, I love that. I love that so much. I wonder. I don't know if Bob's watching, but we love a Christmas story. Um, funny enough, I used to not like a Christmas story at all. Um, but then I met Bob, and he loves a Christmas story, and I fell in love with it. Like I love, I love watching it. Christmas Day, like when we're home. Um, we, like, you know, the parts of the Christmas day that we're home, we watch it the whole time. I, I love it. <laughs> I didn't like it at all, at all, at all growing up. Um, and now I love it. I don't know what, it's so interesting. I don't know. All right, so here's this. Um, and then we've got our stars. I'm gonna get them on here. Oh, we wanna switch these. Right. Beep up bo. All right, and then the USA is gonna go down here. Oh, guys, this is coming out like I didn't even expect it to come out this good, and I'm really excited right now. You ever had that happens a lot with me, right? Like I have one plan. 24 hours on TVS. Yes, yes, yes. We love it, April. We're with you. We are with you. All right. I'm just letting the hot glue gun warm up. And let me get my rope because I want to put a um, a jute hanger on this. Okay, so give me a hot second. I'll be right back. Get my, I got this jute rope from Walmart. This like thicker jute rope that I've been using lately. And I don't know. I've been like on a kick with it. I'm going to clean my hands here while this is warming up. Okay. These are, these are my craft only cleansing wipes, but I ran out of paper towels. So we're going to, we're going to use some cleansing wipes to help me get some of the extra paint off my fingers so that I don't get it on here while I am gluing everything on. Okay. Beautiful. Love having these on hand. You should see the pile of trash that I make every time. Look at this. Every time, <laughs> every time when we craft together, guys, I make... Such a mess. Okay. So the S has to be in the center. And then we'll do the other two letters around it. 
At least that's kind of what my plan was, okay? I was gonna use E6000 to glue them on too, but I'm just not sure. Oh, I wanted to do a varnish on this. You know what, I'll try a varnish on something um, on my own. And I'll let y'all know how it works out. I think I'll spray this with, um, I think I'll spray this with polycrylic later. Meatloaf, beetloaf, I hate meatloaf, one of my favorite lines. Meatloaf, beetloaf, I like that one. I like when Randy, is it, no, yeah, Randy, hides under the sink and mom's like, do you want a glass of milk? Like it's totally normal. <sighs> Such a good movie. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm gluing the S on first because that's going right in the center. And then I wanna, I'm gonna put a little jute hanger on this. That is not the center, Bethany, come on. Is that the center? I don't know, kind of looks like it's the center. Perfect. Oh, glue strings, so many. All right, and then we're gonna put the, obviously the S and the egg on the sides. I'm gonna lift them up a little bit. Live like a slug, it was his only defense. <laughs> oh, I just love that, I can't put my arms down. My gosh, we could quote this movie. We could do, that's what we're gonna have to do. You know, we're gonna do a Christmas story themed craft. Um, when it comes time for Christmas. Or we could do a Christmas in July. Oh, how do people feel about that? What, like one night, we'll do a Christmas in July night. What do you think? Drop some comments. Let me know how you feel about a Christmas in July night. We could do one Christmas craft, just one night in July. Drop some comments, let me know. Christmas in July night. What do y'all think about a Christmas in July night? I kind of like the idea. I kind of love this craft. I just love when this happens. I'm Yes, Julia. All right, so I think we'll do a Christmas in July night. So when I used to work, some, when I was a teacher and I used to work summer camp, I would do um, themed weeks. And so I always did a Christmas in July week. Oh, hi, Ray. Awesome, thanks, Ray. Um, thanks for voting, Mom. Um, so I always, did a, I always did themed weeks and I would do crafts and activities the whole week. So Christmas in July always happened and we do tons of Christmas crafts and play Christmas games. My favorite though, I have as much as I liked that one, I loved um, sports week because I would, each day would be a different sport. And so we do like crafts and math work that was all themed for the sport and writing and all that because it was like kind of an academic and fun camp. Um, but then I would teach them that each sport every day. I loved doing that. That was really fun. That's the one thing about not when you're not a teacher and you just you work as staff on the school, you can't work the camps anymore, but that's okay, right? You give and take. The major award. Oh, there's this house that's not far from Bob and I that they literally have a leg lamp. So first of all, we have a leg lamp in our house. It's in the man cave. Um, but um, there's a house, So it's but it's in the man cave and it's not like on display. There's a house not far from us that literally has the leg lamp on display in the front window, 365. 365. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they li they're living their best life. That's what I'm saying, they are living their best life over there. All right, I'm gonna cut that, why is that blue? I don't want that, that's weird colors. Okay, let's try this again, people. We don't want weird colors. All right, so we're gonna do a Christmas in July night. I think I'll do it on a separate night than our regular craft, that way we can do extra. So I've been loving this jute from Walmart. It's like a bigger one um, than the skinny one I get from, um, that I get from the DT. Uh, fragile, must be Italian. I just love when he gets in there and he's throwing all the hay. Oh my gosh, I get stressed watching that because I'm like, how are we gonna pick all that up? Oh, all right, I don't wanna, I'm not revealing this yet, or maybe I am, you ready? I know you kind of could see it, but are you ready to see how this, I'm, I can't, I'm so excited about this. You ready? What do we think? I'm gonna have to paint the back because the back looks hideous, but what do we think? My U is so much shorter than my A. That's okay, what do we think? <laughs> anyway, what do we think anyway? Oh, someone just put a tear. Why did someone put a tear? Hmm, I don't know, we'll see. What do you think, everybody? Let's glue a um, let's glue a hanger on the back because we always need a hanger. 
We always, always, always need a hanger. All right. Just wanna make sure it's centered. I got those little thumb things this weekend, guys. Of course, I don't have it right now to use, but I got those little thumb things to protect my thumbs when we're doing this. All right, so I'm just putting some extra glue to keep that down, let that dry a little and set in place. So we got a little hanger on it so that we can hang it up on the wall. This will be... Um, for sale. Uh, if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, also, we're going to open a Facebook shop on Friday. That's the hope, at least. My goal is to get it all uploaded and, and ready to go on Friday. We're going to have Facebook shop so you can start shopping from all of my posts. So anytime we post a new craft, anything we've made, you can shop directly from it. So no more having to like go on a different website or like wonder what's for sale and what isn't. Like you'll just be able to shop directly from any of our posts. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, my friends, I'm just going to snip this up. I will finish the back later so that it looks a little bit more presentable. Um, cause I like my backs to look nice and professional cause right now, not so much. Right. So I, I always make my backs look nice. So how do we do? Thank you, Kama. <laughs> It's rough. It is very rough. I tell you, it's warmer north of us. Um, I heard Portland today got to like 108 or something crazy. Um, so yeah, we, we did okay with the 97. But anywho, so this is our finished look. Look, yeah, as if I'm doing makeup. So our finished craft look. Um, little, just a little, cute little USA hanger. Um, will be for sale in the shop on Friday. Um, again, look out for the shop on Friday. I'm super excited to get that going. Um, Friday night, 8 p.m., we'll be live again with one more craft, cute little four that we're going to make into something adorbs. Um, and then we're going to take the weekend off for the 4th of July. Take a nice weekend off. Um, so we'll be here Friday night, and then we'll take the rest of the weekend off. And, um, yeah, and then we'll start our summer stuff. All right? Um, they, oh, good night, Uncle Ray. Good night, IT Diane. Um, so message me for anything. Thank you so much for hopping on tonight, guys. I know it was a random night, um, but I love crafting with you always, so this was super fun. Thanks again. Have an awesome, awesome rest of your week, and I will see you Friday night at 8, all right? Take care, and always remember to count your stitches. Bye, everybody.